Hello, brethren. I can now see why people commit suicide. They commit what? Suicide. Because they have nobody to encourage them. Let me tell you. In a soccer diocese, I was almost reduced to nothingness. I was regarded as a non-entity. I was not existing. I was reduced to the ebb or drag of the society. And I regarded myself as worthless. And that is why I said I will be quitting the fight. Because I can see that nowhere am I recognized. And I said, based on this, I'm not a problem candidate. I'm not a problem candidate. Instead of fighting or struggling, when somebody says he's the owner of the house, we'll give chance from that house. If you come into somebody's house and says, get out of this place, you better get out of that place. But if you discover that the house is not owned by one person, what do you do? You wait for the consent of the entire owners of the house before you do something you want to do. Amen and amen. amen. What am I referring to? Last week, I was talking furiously here that I was going to quit the Catholic city because of my sad experience. However, the barrage or barrages of calls I received after that has made me a new come. Amen and amen. I can see that the world cares. I thought nobody cares. I was thinking that nobody cares. But now I can see some people care. And not just you. Amen and amen. You care. Somebody cares. You care. I care. We care. For that, I am redeciding someone. Amen and amen. Really, really, I was thinking that nobody cares. And as Jesus said, I was thinking that nobody Amen and amen. Why I'm here is also to thank the universality, to thank the whole people in the whole world. Because I was surprised how my little breath in this remote corner of the earth was able to engulf the universe and it become a global issue. <laughs> amen and amen. That uh, I was here my reason, my reason is that I hardly complained. I never complained. I don't like complaining because I have passed in life rigorous situations, torturous situations, crucible situations. I have been cooked in suffering, and suffering gives blood. In short, because of that, I said, I'm not going to complain. But unfortunately, I was pressured into complaining. It is not my nature. What did I say? Where are you heading to? Everybody, I wish to thank my bigger brother, Father Mbaka. Father Mbaka, thank you. Amen and amen. I thank also uh, one other brother who is there. So that is Father Mecca talking and with all sincerity, with all determination, running and teaching the people of the necessity of standing by truth. And he not only once or twice stressed it, and I was surprised that people are so concerned about me. That people are so worried about my little me. 
my worthless me, my non-entity me, my nobody me, my nothingness, in my emptiness. Oh, I am really touched. I am really touched. I am really touched by that general warm mind, unanimous mind. The Pentecostals were there. Pagans were there. Everybody was sincerely concerned. Reverend fathers worldwide. I was called all the way from America, from Britain, from Germany, from Italy, from all parts of the world. And I was saying, what? That little breath we breathe over here, what does, what does could it make? You see, people don't know why I'm here. It is, oh, God, I thank you for concern, for the concern of the people. I shed tears. I shed tears. And my tears in tears of joy. 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 I don't know anybody who's concerned. Amen. I know. People say, why does he complain? Listen. When things get over, one has no choice than to complain. This we are getting too much. Look at it. You are saying, why am I complaining? If you have a problem with your husband or wife, do you bring that case to us or do not? You bring it to us. You see? So, I'm having a problem. I brought it. Do you know the problem now? Even Jesus himself complained. Jesus said, when they slap you one, you turn the other one. But, unfortunately, I don't know what happened. Jesus was in, if we look at um, what he did, was very surprising. Jesus said, when he was slapped, that, he said, my people, ask this man what I did to him that I should necessitate this dirty and hot slap. He didn't turn the other one. But I was waiting for him to say, okay, beat again. He was busy reducing the pain. I say, my people, ask him what should make him slap me like this. Which means, if not that Jesus was in chains, if not that his hands were tied, he would have given a hotter slap to that man. Well, um, no, no problem, no problem, no problem. I like that. You, even if you carry video machine, go ahead. Because what I will say concerns all of us. Okay? What I'm saying, after saying something, go and verify it. One politician said, go and then verify. I don't lie. I don't tell lies. I will speak and stand by truth. Amen? Could you imagine what I was saying? Somebody, even Paul, Paul complained when he said, oh, if you open uh, Second Timothy, you will see Paul complaining. That Alexander the Coppersmith has done me evil, much evil. I don't know your own Alexander the Coppersmith. So, but that really happens. Let us know that God and St. Paul also complained in 2 Corinthians chapter 11. See, even if it means that I'm boasting, let me boast, but in the Lord. But let me tell you, I was like a bomb baby or prematurely bomb baby. But I did what? I worked harder than others. When I was enumerating all that I have done, I was just speaking like St. Paul. When I was saying that these things pain me, I was just talking like Jesus. So I have a blueprint of my statement. What we spoke about is marginalization. I was highly marginalized and it was oppressive. 
and it was really manifest. It was not hidden. It was acrimonious. It was very, very passion, uh, compact manifestation of uh, uh, reject and rejection. So I cried out, just like one Koko said, to it, to it, to it. Having been prayed upon by Ewe, it was as why are you crying? Say no, I'm crying. Not that what holds me or has caught me will leave me, but that the world should listen and hear and hear my God. So, my dear brothers, I am really, I am really touched by the numerous voice people who are concerned everywhere. When I thought nobody is concerned, I am here to point few things. I am here to point few things. Some people say, uh, why are you making noise? Why are you making noise? Whatever you have belongs to the church. You see, these people who are talking like this, they have more than the church. Don't worry. If faith is not taken after today, I will list all the names of all the reverend fathers and all that they have from room to this place. Yes, so that they know we you know. There are those who use third party. I didn't use third party. Anything I did, I was able to do it straight. I was not hiding anything. But listen. Listen. When I do anything, I do it open. You are saying that whatever father he has, don't you know we have two types of priests? Everyone who's on our board. Listen. If you go to Canon 278, Canon 278, it will tell you there are two priests. One is the religious. The other one is secular or diocesan. Where do I belong? I belong to diocesan. And the religious, we take vow. We take promise. And what does it mean? When we take promise, that is what... This promise gives us the power to do what? To acquire property. It gives us the onus, the power. All the religious people have no right. They have no right. Because they took vow of chastity, vow, poverty, vow of business. We took promise of all these things. Now, the canon law allows us to do what? to acquire property. And when it allows us to acquire property, it is geared towards evangelization. <laughs> now I ask, if it is so, why then here? Are we using here for Giga Market? What are we doing here? What is the land for? So when people misunderstand and speak to, begin to speak all kinds of jargons, they don't know it. Let, let me tell you, if you are, that is what the law, or what the lay people call the what? The testate and the intestate. This testate and intestate is when you die, you have will. If you have will, you have written will. If you wrote a will, that thing you have written, we do what? That will you wrote, we decide how you share your property. Are you getting me? Yes. Listen, those who came here to kick down the building, do they know how and what has transpired? This place is my own. Are you getting me? Yes. Do you know whether I have written well here? Those who are knocking down this building, do you know whether I have shared that is your own, what I have willing to do? By the time I die, my will will come on. And you can see that this little place might have contained more than 10 or 20 different people in the will. Amen. You will be able to see that. Are you getting it? Are you getting it? Are you getting it? So, you just go to the pregnant dog. 
So it is not like that that they do. Now I say, yes, give me a give me. And yet, finally, the Padam went to him. Oh, what are you talking about? You know, in a general way, I will try a marriage day in a new head, maybe in a new head. Amen? So, what we are saying is that those who are writing nonsense, they are just on their own. By the way, listen, see what I have in my hand here. Here I come to the Mbemporo professor. I met my bishop and told him, I became a, a professor. He said, that's good. Go and write. Transfer to slaves for me. Tell me that government goes to that for cost study. I said, okay, that's fine. Now I came and wrote. I wrote 16 on the 4th of August 2023. And it was endorsed by the, the assistant secretary. I gave it to him. People are saying, why didn't you come to the form of the priest? Why? Why didn't you come to the form of the priest? This is showing on the place. Why? I gave it to Bishop. Two, I gave it to uh, IKB worker. Three, I gave it to uh, Vicar General. And one other person I forwarded it to. So, what we are saying is that uh, this thing is your leader. Look at I don't deny anything. Let's see. No, no. Now listen, uh, get it. Uh, what we are saying, no problem. They are blaming me that I didn't go to tell the priest. But I gave this in one month. And somebody called me that he wants me to do what? That he has seen what I wrote. But look at this, told me that he read it. That I should give him my phone so that he should call me. I gave to Bishop. I gave to ITV. I gave to the, um, who again? The Vika General. They never read it. Or that they have read it. And what happened? They didn't call me, I was waiting. All I did was to come here and declare that they have done this way. Do you know the site that belongs to you? I gave a land worth 600 blocks. It has not been used. I gave this one here. It has not been used. I said, look at exactly what I wrote. <laughs> Listen now, listen. Listen to what I said. I said, first, before asking for the near five acres, and instead of packing and piling pieces of land and other property without using them, let me, for the meantime, build the brief of this little portion of five hectares, pending on when they have exhausted the 25 hectares, which is 600 plus, and others already submitted. As a member, this is not saying something. I have been waiting for the reply. I said, well, let me continue using here till when you are ready. You tell me, I have written. I have been waiting for a reply. I wrote this letter in, in August. While on the way to him, all I had was the declaration. And to substantiate that it is a pre plan, a priest came here and knocked open his door and came in, and the worst of it, he went and tied my security mark. Yeah. Not only that, 
He had the security man who has AK-47. Had this man, out of anger, shot him, they would say, Father has ordered his security man to kill. When I was not even there. And to show that it's a big one, till today, the priest has not come up to say, Sorry. Is it good, my people? No. Listen, what I'm saying is that people, as we are here, people say, uh, Odumejo came here and I gave him monsters. Please, my people, did you see Odumejo here with monsters? Bazaar is for everybody. Bazaar is for everybody. Bazaar is for both pregnant. Okay, they say he is trying to run away in order to take the wife. What wife? In my father's compound, I have an offset. I waited it to the church. I gave it to the church. My last portion in the village. In Bolivia, I gave it to the church. We have to find out. They are just the one not wanting to take it. In the same guru, I bought four plots and gave to the parish and gave my one of my cars to the parish. Okay, they say, Unu Chaneba, you see that I carry idols. Who can vow that I have asked one naira from anybody else? Have I asked anybody to pay me one naira? Now listen, let me refer back to 2005. In 2005, there was a deity in a box. About four pastors had gone to evacuate that deity. The next day, you will find it relocated exactly the way it was taken. A What happened? Another pastor came and said, You are going to pay 250,000 naira in the year 2005. Under IK being working at Obola. Then I came and said, How where do people get such money? Let us call Father Paul. He doesn't take money. And they came and told me, I went there. No one there and nothing. I went there and brought up that mask. Behold, I will put it a life bead brown. Came out of it and came towards my seat. If you near me, I set you on fire. Yeah. Amen and amen. Yeah. When that thing happened, now that thing turned around and flew away. The deity is still in the cathedral to today. It has never gone back. It has never gone back. We talk. Some talks, some people say that uh, uh, after he said, give me 100 million. All the I was just to paint us black, but you can't paint white, black. Amen and amen. Yeah. Now ask God to say, you, he's alive. Some of your has his number. Ask him how much he gave me and how much was paid. Some people talk just because they want to talk. So what we are telling you people is that I am here, I am not talking against anybody anyhow. Listen, do you know why we are left like this, living in tents, living in caravans? There was a time I went for launching in Abuja. Do you know that when I got to that launching, it was, it was friends. It's not church. People do it. But on the back, onu na ronoka, onu ne jele go sabuja e me lunch in kunade. Ame ojipata, ame ojipata, ame jele go sabuja kade. Fabi chidi chidi, you go to jele go sabuja to raise funds or not? Why was my own friend? The very day I went to rule my own with two friends in Rocky Hotel. Do you know that call came from authority to stop me from doing that? And it was set up and it was stopped. 
all the big boys I call to come out that we are living on that end. So I am begging that whoever can help us, we have remained like this because of God from the diocese. No need of kindness, you should know. And I was taught, Abuja knows, even Andy O'KK, the living in bondage, was there. He spoke length. He was among those who contributed 250 for me to run back, transport myself back. And I was called again at the cathedral to come and write query. I was query to write apology. Apology on what? Apology that I went to do what? Apology. I said, please, I am not doing this thing for what? I am not here for my own team. It's for the adoration. You see how you suffer under sun and rain. That's why we are here like this. I came back without one naira, and I was asked to go and write it. Go and write apology to Abuja. For what? I said, please, I'm not writing apology. I will write explanation. <laughs> are you getting me? If you doubt what I'm saying, they are all here with me. I have the, 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 the identification. Abuja knows this thing. Just that I called few friends. Friends can cross border both Christians and non Christians. I didn't go to radio. It was not a liturgical gathering as to necessitate permission. I didn't go to celebrate mass. It was in a social hotel, Rock View. Very few friends, four rooms, which people do everywhere. But my own was separate, was different. That was the time I attracted the university investors. I went to the cathedral, to the secretary, and they tendered it. I was told, you mean to build it for yourself? That even CWO want to build their own, CMO want to build their own, Obey want to build, come on, guys, see that. When we are ready for university, then you do what? You come and uh, be a committee member. I said, is being a committee member more prestigious, more fruitful or beneficial than being a promoter? They rejected it. Then I went to my village with the happiness that there is abundance of land. I told my villagers, these people are coming from US. Could you accept them, give them land? And we celebrated and did everything. They brought land, but along the line, I don't know what changed what. They fought against me with the Moreno Manelta. Photo, 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 I ran away. And the people, investors, went back. That's how they, that invest, investment disappeared. What is wrong? What have I done wrong? Jesus is asking. What have I done wrong? I give all I have. I submit all I have. I don't offend people. Ask IKB what people wanted to use 250,000. I did it free of charge. Why are people oppressing me? Why am I intimidated? Why am I suppressed? Why am I harassed? Then, on when you beat a child, you tell him not to cry. So what I'm saying is that I'm not accusing. If you go and verify all these things and they are not as I said, then come and crucify me. I'm not talking against anybody. I'm talking reality. I gave a land at Obimo. I spent about 55 million 2009 to 2011. It's not sufficient. I'm not struggling over here. By 90 years, I'm around 59 years now. By 90 years to 100, we have all left here. You and I might have died away. Why are we struggling over that? I'm not struggling. I don't need all these things. I don't have any time. My car, you people know that I travel on, on Keke and people like, I don't have any car. I don't have any car right now. 
I borrow cars, I move around on people's. I'm owing today some banks because I want to empower some people. I didn't know. Do you know it when I say I say go and ask? We were holding a meeting, Reverend Father's meeting. And my bishop said, I I rebooked and scolded Governor Uguay for giving Okunere land in Andane. I said, no wonder why Governor Nova wanted to be interested in the land. I didn't say what he didn't say. He said it in the presence of all the priests. Why are you stopping him? So it's just if I narrate all that is contained there, you should know that I have passed through Christ. I don't want to talk. But here now, if you remove me here, I don't care. But are you going to use it? You are going to violate the donor's intention. You are violating donor's eh, intention. His intention is that we use it for prayer and all that is associated with eh, prayer. We can build small, small secondary, primary. We can build institution if we get money. All geared towards this ministry. Look at it. We are under here. Look at what we are living under. Look at it. Wretched. And if it is Abuja or Lagos, one person will just bring out money. Father, erect this place so that children of God will no longer suffer. But here, yeah, you know how we do our fundraising. 5,000, 10,000. 5,000, 10,000. Anak, waka, anak, waka. Somebody who wrote something like this and gave to all the priests say, look at it, this is my anger, this is my reflection. You are still blaming me that I didn't tell the priest. Whom again shall I tell? I have told the much as I could by this. So my dear people, what I'm presenting here is not an offense. Listen. Also, the DJ song. Go and ask. As you see, one of this contention is nothing. Let's talk well. And you take. Obo na wagi ni chore na wagi he. Ega say excuse me, give me that cup or not? No, no me go warm. Eshi ni kick. Jack barre door to kwashi ni shi. Barre door. The kick down the door. Went and heard my my security necktie. Somebody who has AK forty seven. I just thank God. Biko kelebe mu chine ke na ba kudi gwa father. I ba kudi gwa father. You see, it? that is abomination. That shows you the level of acrimony and the neglect. That I did what? What necessitated this? Are you getting me? So, all everything people talk about, I narrated them here. You have no right. What are we doing? If you, if you do me by force, I can rewrite what I wrote. You don't know whether you are the owner of this place already. But I cannot say it. You are fighting over your team. But I thank the world who recognized my littleness and called from all over the face of the world. I gave a land at Ogrute. I gave a land at, uh, I gave a house Ogrute. I gave a uh, uh, umwebu, a bungalow. Eight rooms is standing there. Go and uh, verify. I built at uh, Omoshana 28 worth of house, 28 million. Go and uh, verify. I bought the transformer at Cathedral. Go and uh, verify. I built the that in the museum at the Cathedral. Go and uh, verify. I built at Abobolo. Go and uh, verify. What else? What have I not done? Is it common this thing that I cannot give? Is a process or method of approach that led to that. 
they came to attack physically when i had written my intention waiting to be called or someone i could not if it means going to any level i will go to defend myself anywhere i am called i will say more here i'm in the in the i have not said other things but if you touch my lip again i will blow up again So, marginalization is not good for anybody else. I am old enough in this diocese to be consulted at least through, at least over some minor things like this. Even if I'm looking over here, the government wrote it in my name and gave to me for the purpose of prayer. And here I am messed up, regarded as nobody, does not want consulting. No need of round table. He is nothing. He is nobody. You shouldn't refer to him. Even though he wrote those things, he should be discarded. That's the only point of uh, contact. Those who are writing whatever they're writing, that concerns you. I've spoken what I said. No way, cooking film cool. Yen ne kubo, call your oven and make it. No, you walk a car. No, you call ha. No, you teo, teo, teo. Oh, I look earlier. Oh, when I go again, I look earlier. Me and I surprise no one. When I am here, I am here. I am here. I am here. I am here. I so, uh, as it is, I don't want to go far, but I want to tell you, if you doubt what I'm saying, you come and take this document. You take this document. I'm no longer angry, but it's good to express my feeling. Amen. Did I curse anybody? Did I abuse anybody? Did I embarrass any authority? I'm only expressing my feelings, which everybody has the right. Amen. Do you have right to express your feeling or not? So that is the only thing. I know that. Many people will say, don't express it, uh, don't express it, don't express it, that uh, uh, because something, something will happen. What is it that is going to happen? <laughs> Amen? Let me tell you, let me tell you, uh, what you see, I don't want to say all about you. The diocese, that was the time I did the retreat, and the priest tell you this book, this father was better than This father better than <laughs> Okay, now that was a time. Those who said we are here to make money. It's not money. There was a time I prayed with Ibeto smell. And Ibeto brought a three landlord of smell, a truck of rice and uh, cattle. I drove it straight and dropped it in the cathedral. I didn't think people were back. Why are you saying it is because of money? So.
Get out of that boy, you are a drunk. Say, sir, I'm not a drunk. A drunk. Yes. I am pouring out my heart. Did I beat anybody? No. Did I cause any of them? No. It's just like when I went to Abuja, they said, I should write her. I should write her. I didn't write her. I can't write her. I can't write her. I can't write her. I can't write one more. One Have I ever spoken since 23 years? No. Have I ever complained since 23 years? No. Listen, if I say all, you will shock. No. No. I've already proven myself. 
I need to repeat if you want. Do you know? Are you listening? Attention. Do you know that when I became a professor, when I became an associate professor, that this this diocese, my diocese, start to move from being an associate professor. Professor, and whatever I so stop me and send me back. Why should I be stopped? If you doubt what I'm saying, you consult the diocese of the movement. If they didn't know who I am, they would have sent me home. I wouldn't be associated, let alone professor. But they send me this professor. On your several professorship logo, Green Sea, Vice Chancellor, and uh, uh, Bishop Onaga. They saved my professorship. Please, wave your hands for two of them. Thank them for the second. Okay, but you guys saw. Listen, listen, listen. Do you know why? Do you know the reason? Do you know why I should have been sent to? Do you know why they wanted to stop me? That, that I simply did not take permission. What, what strength of excuse is that? Unfortunately for them, I took permission from the Emeritus Bishop. And I showed them. I began to teach March 14, 2013. And the new Bishop was appointed April 2013. So I was old, one month older. And installation in someone in this in um, July. So there was no how I could have taken permission. I took from the old bishop. When I showed it, that's how my professor was saying. Hey! Hey! So, I will stop here. I will stop here. But when somebody says he's going out, it's because he's not a he's not a new it's not allowed. It's not accepted. I tell you, yes, sir. I have to you. I have to you. I'm to the place. I listen to the place because I am that my brothers. But I'm sure that those who instigated this very thing, they are not here. Let me see anybody. I need to see you. 
Any priest, any priest will come here to mess up. Then I will deal with you. So, my people, I am giving a last warning. Father, back to the door, my child will be back. I am, I am suffering for you. If it is not for prayer, nobody will hear me. If I am drinking and pursuing women, I'll be running on the road. Nobody will look at me. But why prayer? In Baka, the same thing. Brother, the same thing. The same thing. And so many of my brothers are there. They are all set in the place. Should I continue to run like a good girl? Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something.